Yeah, everybody, the endangered. Man. Dollars. Like we said, you know, I tell you, really original grooves. I, 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 that House of Blues, they had me moving. I walked in, I walked in, and see, you know, it's one of my friends who drags me to stuff. So, you know, I had kind of a little attitude, kind of like, you know, you know, you just, oh, shit, I wasn't expecting to do Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, I'm glad because my friends have, have drugged me out to stuff, and I'm like, really? I got it. Yeah, I know. I put on heels on this. My own vibe changed. I got the phone out, started shooting videos and pictures, posted on Facebook. Then he was stalking you, and I've, I mean, I've seen your video every time I'm here, so, you know. Well, you know, when you watch them live, the whole groove is there kind of like that. That's the way you bring it. It is contagious. They had the house kind of rocking. And so, you know, people broke out their phones and were, you know, doing their thing. Because, and again, especially when you get that groove off of original music, you know, that's well, I'll tell you, well, don't, you know. So tell us, tell us about Dollars, though. Well, Frank actually came to, you know, with, with all our songs, we all try to present different ideas to the band. So I might write chords to something, Frank might write a bass line or a groove. Gene usually uses the keyboard if he's writing, because he's a drummer. So he'll show us some chords, you know, on, on a keyboard. Oh, that, wait, that's kind of cool right there. Well, that's what, and, and you guys go back, so that's that whole thing, yeah, you yeah. and him. So, so we love to just, you know, pres you know, I'll write a song, Maya will write a song, Frank will write a song, Gina will write a song, and we'll all sit down at the table mm -hmm. and talk about the ideas and hash them out and, you know, provide input. And Dollar, as Frank came with groove, kind of came with, he had, he had an idea of the guitar chords he was interested in and, and, and kind of, demonstrated to me the, the feel and the vibe he was going for and then Gene kind of came up with the beat for it real quick. That dude, that whole, yeah. that, that, who was that, 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 that whole, that has that kind of. Yeah, the bass line and the melodic, <laughs> and the melodic changes uh, Frank came up with initially. Yeah. Nice, nice. And I had nice. a really hard time writing lyrics to it at first and we were all. I can see why, Maya, though, because coming in you didn't want to get in the way of all that. Right, and I didn't want to, <laughs> the yeah. hump is what makes yeah. that song, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and I had a, you know, so I tried a couple things and da, 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 and we were all having a conversation. It was me, Gene and Frank, I don't think Nick was there at the time, but we were all having this conversation about how like we were waiting to get paid from gigs. We were like, we're so broke. Like, what are we going to do? This is crazy, blah, 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 blah. And so that kind of gave me the concept of like, okay, when you are trying to make a living mm -hmm. off of your art form, what do you sacrifice? What are you willing to sacrifice? So to me, that's really what Dollars is about, mm -hmm. you know? It's an everyday struggle, exactly. right? Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Well, it certainly sh sh comes off because it doesn't come off like other tracks and it's so memorable oh, thank you. from the first time you hear it well now we're getting the gutting now the chat room everybody's pouring in Norman Ross from Cleveland uh, loving it loving it loving the things that we do Mac McAllister also everybody great vibes and everybody appreciating the work from the band now Nick mm -hmm. you and Jeans were, first came together you mentioned he's a drummer mm -hmm. but he plays keyboards you guys that whole that was the first little nucleus piece there did you guys start out writing with him playing keyboards and you doing guitar? How did you guys kind of get that whole mutual sure. groove? How did that all start? Just listening to some tracks together? What what happened? How did that come together? You know, we, we had a practice room together. And so initially it was me playing guitar and Gene playing drums for the most part. Okay. And so as, as we started writing, I was coming up with more of the chordal concepts. But Gene was providing a you know incredible amount of input when it came to the beat, the rhythm. More than you would expect from a drummer. Part. That's the oh, point I was getting oh, at. Much more. Huh. And, and Gene can play the keyboards and write on the keyboards uh, very well. So wow. as as we you know furthered you know our writing process over the months, um, it became evident that he was also good at presenting songs on on keys as well. And so we we subsequently encouraged that quite a bit. So. It wasn't as much in the beginning, but now Gene's playing keys a lot more. And um, helping with the lyric writing. And helping with the lyric writing. And, and he's well, that's what it was being interesting. Being a member. Oh. Yeah. Well, you know, right. <laughs> Frank, too. I mean, Frank has really uh, the uh, melody line for Calling on You, the backgrounds. Actually, Frank came up with that. So, we, like I said, we are all interactive in what we do. And I think that's why it works. We kind of Definitely. put our egos to the side. Mm -hmm. We come in and we support everybody's idea. We try it out. You know, some ideas work, some don't. But we just figure if we try out everything and give everybody a chance to voice their opinion on it and just try everybody's idea, then we get the best result. Um, our publisher, uh, Dan, 
had a great quote. Um, he said, the best music you're ever going to create is when you just get in a room with people that you love and make it. And that's really mm -hmm. true. Wonderful. Well, we got questions again from the chat room. They want to know, Nick, did you do any grunge band stuff coming from <laughs> Seattle? From, you know, I loved grunge. The first, <laughs> the first CD I ever bought was Pearl Jam's 10. Oh, wow. So if that says anything, I mean, I grew up right around all that. And it definitely influenced my playing big time, I mean, especially my rock and alternative rock influences, pulling heavily from Soundgarden and Nirvana and Pearl Jam and so on. Uh, but at the same time, at that age, I was also getting very into jazz. So, and yeah, because it's kind of here, there. But exactly. Yeah. From a technical standpoint, I had teachers who were telling me it's really important that you study the foundation. And in my case, I was very, very interested in jazz and slightly less interested in classical at that phase. So I really pursued jazz. And so I think my playing is a, a big blend of having grown up in Seattle, loving classic rock, loving grunge, and also wow. having been really into jazz. Well, I heard so. Nick was getting married, so I want to know, is there a special <laughs> song for the wedding? <laughs> We're working on I think this. we got to write a special song for yeah, the wedding. Yeah, of course. So. <laughs> I have new stuff. You know, really amazing, <laughs> you guys. I'm just sitting here still fast. And, it's, and, it's, and again, got to acknowledge the academic backgrounds because not that everybody has to do that. We're not, not by any means. But it's always interesting when we do meet the folks who've had that academic background, you two having studied, you and Jean having studied at the California Institute of the Arts, and then mm -hmm. uh, having Frank coming from the Berkeley College of Music. So everybody reads, huh? Well, you know, she, <laughs> she outsmarts us all because she went to Yale, so. Whoa! Okay. Oh, laughing. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> so that's the whole thing. So again, like <laughs> intelligence, okay? Because, you know, I used to have this quote where I would say, some music is for the mature mind, mm. okay? Yeah. <laughs> you know, in a sense. So I guess that's why so much of the stuff that you guys are doing seems to have that depth in the message and stuff. I, you know, because there's an inherent thought pattern. There's inherent intelligence. Consciousness, I guess, seems to be floating mm -hmm. through the members of the band. Wow, it shows. Let me ask the question real quick, Mario. Just going to, so I have to change my whole approach. Because I was, you know, I was trying to, you know, bridge kind of this connection, you know, with being a little bit uh, like an urban knight. Now she gone to Yale. I got to pull off my hat and try to get intelligentsia in the oh room. Lord. <laughs> so, He's so, like, oh no, we didn't know. You're <laughs> right. So all of a sudden, do you keep that like quietly away from people so they don't prejudge you because that could work for you or against you? Because you know, when you say when you see what you do, and then say Yale, I'm still trying to connect it. I'm, I'm trying to find it, so help me, help me. <laughs> well, um, sometimes you, you figure out, some people feel that I can be intimidating, so the I strong definitely, women. yeah, and that's okay, you know, I don't want to ever lord my education over anybody, because I don't think that my education makes me better than anybody else, I'm fly regardless, <laughs> so, <laughs> I love it, uh, <laughs> there you go. Answer the question. That was yeah. easy. So, I mean, I, I don't really have a, I can't talk to you if you didn't go to college or you did, whatever. I want to hear your opinion. I want to hear what you have to say. I just want people to want to seek knowledge in any way that they can, whether that's from mm -hmm. a book, a computer, or life, whatever. It doesn't really matter to me. You know, President Bush went to Yale. That doesn't mean that he's smarter than anybody else. Mm. And I don't feel that <laughs> I'm smarter than anybody else because I went to an Ivy League school. I had a good time there. I learned a lot. I was exposed to a lot and had some wonderful professors. I also had some wonderful professors at Oxford. I had wonderful professors at the Musicians Institute. So I you know, had great teachers throughout the gamut from the high points to the low points of education. I just am a person that seeks knowledge. You're so well spoken. I, yeah. I'm listening yeah, to your you. voice and your tone. I said, you know, I'm kind of embarrassed. I, 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 I flubbed some of my vocabulary. Brandy, you got to check me next time. But no, I appreciate. <laughs> That's what I'm Because I, I hear it. I go like, you are, you, you could hear in your voice that naturally you, you are so, your enunciations. Who My mother was that's, very particular that's, about that's that. That's where I was going to. Her eloquence always makes me nervous. <laughs> There's no way I'm coming off this. <laughs> Truly. No, wait. You know, Mario, I know Mario has a lot of questions. That's my last one. He got it. No, 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 no. No, I'm, I'm sitting here. We're at the, first of all, I'm, I'm just acknowledging the band's site because yeah. it's, it's certainly worth taking a look, everybody. Go take a look. The Endangered, just excuse me, www.endangeredband.com. 
Go take a look. Wonderful site. Yeah. Got the videos there. I was just looking at some of the performance videos here and yeah. wondering if we should show one of these. Oh, yeah, cool. That and maybe ask Nick or Maya sure. what they think, which, which one they think maybe we should. Maybe that one. Maybe that one. The, the lower corner one? Yeah. The lower right? Yeah, the lower no, left. the other one. The that one you were on. One. This yeah. one? Yeah. yeah. That was a fun show we that played a, a while show. back at um, an L.A. Art sure. Walk. It yeah. was a lot of fun. So as we've been trying to do a grassroots, out, uh, grassroots outreach, mm -hmm. um, you know, we felt it was really important to be playing events like L.A. Art Walk. Yeah! Indian raw! The real stuff. Pure. Let's take a look. Yeah, all right. You were good. That was hot. Once again, here with The Endangered, uh, Maya Sykes, Nick Block in the house. The other band members not here, Frank Abraham, Gene Coy, got a chance to talk again about the other folks and get a chance to see them in action. So great. You know, again, they have a wonderful website. And we keep acknowledging that for you guys to go take a look. We, we actually pulled that video from there. Yeah. You know, stylistically, 
Let's run through a few of the photos here from the website. Yes, the band is evolving. <laughs> kind of because I Love put my it. foot down. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at this, you guys. Nice, nice. Where did I now? Where where did I? And the attention to detail because I'm checking out the hats. Sure, sure. And the whole they thing. They got a stylist. Nick, Nick. So they're looking good. Also, this is the one where you had the stylist work on it. Um, we did have the stylist, although, but half of these things are mine. <laughs> you mean like your that's your hat or something? Yeah, the hat that Nick's wearing, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the socks, those were I got those. The bow tie I got. That dress is mine. The hat is mine that I'm wearing. The gloves were the stylist. They were really great though. Um, 360 Atelier, I highly recommend them. What up, D? Uh, <laughs> basically, I just said I want us to look like this. And I was kind of a little um, terrier about it. I was like, no, I really want us to look like this. And they did it, no problem. They were like, okay, we got you, no problem. Wow. They did what I asked. And, you know, I think it was great that we worked with a stylist at first. But now the boys are really, you know, developing their own sense style, of style and yeah. kind of coming into it. Because I knew that, well, Nick pretty much, if I'm like, Nick, wear this, he has no problem. Right. And Nick has a great sense of style anyway. But I just felt collectively, if I was like, you guys need to wear this, I was going to come off like their mom. Mm -hmm. So it was nice to have a stylist he was like no this really does make you good, look good because you know sometimes you say that and people don't believe you I'm like no 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 yeah you really look good with the tailored look I promise like, good. <laughs> just me we're gonna look great well look at no, some of the other great. ones here we go again I like that. that's the dress that's I got fun. from E. Franco oh, so like yeah. thank you to E. Franco and companies nice. Wow. And we had the pleasure of working with Matthew Scott who's a fantastic amazing photographer. photographer and that's the Sayers Club actually oh I gotta, I gotta come down and see that. Yeah. Do you, are you, do you have certain places and... you go regularly, like on certain? On Thursdays, um, well, I won't be there this Thursday because I'm going out of town. But normally on Thursdays and sometimes on Saturdays, I'm at the Sayers Club. Sometimes on Fridays, I'm at Perch in downtown, um, and I play a lot around around town. Mm -hmm. You know, but mostly I've just been focusing on my band and just making now is that with this Wednesday? This <laughs> Wednesday. Oh, this Wednesday at Hotel Cafe. <laughs> you can see the endangered. Now, where's Hotel Cafe? Hotel Cafe is on Cahuenga and Selma in Hollywood. Okay. Um, their website's hotelcafe.com. Yep. And what and time? Uh, we hit at 9.30. 9 one show? Uh, one, one set, and then our friend Brandon Coleman is going to play with an amazing funk band after us. Uh oh. He'll uh -oh. be playing with Keys with, Keys with us, and mm -hmm. then his band after Well, you know what? And I'm so interested, you guys, in hearing whatever bands you guys think are hot too because we really need to get this word out Absolutely. about what's happening in the quality quality of music that's why we were so glad to find you and to make you our it was no work i mean i have to admit I, it was <laughs> they spoiled me i was they it was no work they had everything they had a, a, for every song you know we would tell people yeah. do a video talking about the song I've been for already every talking. song the endangered has hey. A video doing that. So now I got to ask you this other question as we look at this one picture here. There's an obvious work ethic that stands out above and beyond the usual. Now we, of course, now and 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 Maya is so humble, and you all are so humble too about the, your academic pursuits and how you've done what you've done. But it, I I certainly have to wonder whether or not that degree of experience in terms of going to school has a lot to do with the band's ability to focus and to be so well organized in your sure. approach because that is essentially unheard of and I'm so glad to see people like me we need to experience people like you regularly just to get a breath of fresh air because sometimes you get to thinking you're out there all alone sure, sure. okay absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so you know just to see that um, you know, that intelligence, at least for you all to come together as a group to know that you needed to do these things. How does that come out? Just in the talking sessions, if someone says, well, we got to do a video for every track. But I mean, the attention to detail we, is so thing, wonderful. The one thing I can say about our band and why we are successful is because each of us is organized in a very different way. <laughs> no, seriously. Okay, okay, and okay. so that, You're head organizer. <laughs> I don't know that I am. Sometimes I am, sometimes Nick is, sometimes Frank is. Like, we, we really, we have really good sets of skill sets in organization, but in way, in vastly different things. Mm -hmm. You know, I always think 
musically whenever we're getting ready for a gig Frank is kind of always on top of that I feel like scheduling wise and you know making sure all of our legal aspects and all of our you know I's are dotted and our mm -hmm. T's are crossed that's Nick I'm kind of the one who's like no you have to do this you have to do this now have you done your updates blah 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 and Gene's organization is really about um, rehearsals he's great about and he's really great about organizing how we play musically and getting that together making sure if we have extra players that um, we've called extra players so sometimes we use a percussion player and sometimes we use a piano player um, so Gene and Frank are really great about that so I think what helps us stay on top of it is that we utilize our strengths as best we can. Mm -hmm. And we each have vastly different strengths mm -hmm. when it comes to organization. Would you agree? I, I would completely agree. And Maya and I both had business experience exactly. before the band as well. And I think that helped us understand that, you know, while it's all about the music, it's all about the creativity, we have to have an action plan. We've got to have a game plan, a strategy for the next two years. How are we going to, you know, garner exposure? Who are we going to yeah. work with in terms of management and mm -hmm. booking and so on? And so, you know, I think we always, you know, take the creative, the, the creative side, and we think of that as being the most important part of the band. But we haven't lost Still sight business, of the business, yeah. And 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 that's been critical mm -hmm. for us in the last two years is is making sure that as boring as that can be, sometimes you have to get. The I work struggle done with I think the business it. side of yeah. the business because I, I can be all creative do. all day. It's <laughs> just, I think we yeah. all do, especially yeah. because your mind is set to be creative. Mm -hmm. You know, it's hard to be creative at one moment and then go okay let me go over contracts yeah that's odd but especially because this is the heyday of the independent artists we have to step our game up yeah i've got to start doing everything which is exactly why i got a nap going on here <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thanks Mario. well you know yeah. like i said people pushing the, the envelope that's again what you look for mm -hmm. and that's why you can imagine those who know me would understand why i was so excited about the endangered because like i said they were no work and the attention to detail was un just not what I'm used to ever finding. So you, this is a one in a hundred. And then even doing that, when you actually got to the tracks and the substance of it. So like I said, everybody's been grooving. So go there, you know, purchase it like I did. <laughs> iTunes, it's worth it, you guys. Go on there. Support these groups. Go to the wonderful website and take a look. They have the videos and embrace the story. More to come from them, I guess. So tell us for the future now. Sure. What's coming up? What's coming up uh, with the with with the band? What's what are we planning? And you said always the two year plan, Nick. Oh, well, we're give, we're us a, <laughs> give us the quick just lowdown on your two <laughs> years. Just, just, fast. Yeah, just in general. Just, I know, just I know, really yeah, quick. I know just, this, two just the part you <laughs> want to share, kind of like. No, you know what we're doing right now is we're focusing on new songs. We're in the studio. We're, we've got a lot more content we've written. We're thrilled that we got the EP out, and, and we're happy with. Um, the response that we've received from it, but the music is what means the most to us. So we've got at least six new tracks in mm -hmm. production right now. And what we want to do is start pushing those out as soon as possible. So we're going to have a full length album coming up, but in the meantime, we're going to start releasing singles. And well, we just want to keep pushing it out there. So keep an eye out for new singles coming in December and January. Well, now, let us know. We'll definitely. Well, is everything the same? Your Facebook, your Twitter, is it everything under The Endangered or? Our Facebook is Endangered Band. Mm -hmm. okay. Face Facebook is backslash Endangered Band. Twitter is at the Endangered. endangered. And our website is obviously www.endangeredband.com. Okay. Yeah, you know what? And, all, and all the links are there. The Twitter and the Facebook links are there mm -hmm. at the yes, website. So this right is great. That's like their central mm -hmm. station. You can also get on our everything. mailing list yeah. on our website as well. Mm -hmm. So if you that gives us um, gives you updates on new music and new shows. There it is, yeah. you guys. Take a look. Everything there. Wonderful website. Everybody, go take a look. Now, I got to say this, because, you know, it's the world we're in. Uh, would love to see one day a wonderful full-length concert video of the Ed Danger sure. Band. You guys, because I saw them. I saw them. That, and, 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 and those of us who know Pac Stereo know that the local zone, Victor Allen goes out there. We've got Rachelle Farrell. We've got the best Tina Marie. Uh, video in existence, full length concert that we awesome. were blessed that she invited us. Mm. Uh, we also did the whole rehearsal series with Tina Marie, Victor Allen, at Tina Marie's rehearsals in the Phil Perry rehearsal series. So I'm just letting you know. I have okay. to say it live and on the air. Sure, sure. If there's ever a chance, we would love to come out. For sure. So, Nick, you talk to us. It would be our pleasure, man. I'll be <laughs> yeah. in touch, sure. You're the business sure. man. So we would love, to. We would love sure. to get a full length concert, <laughs> you guys, because I've seen them and and the idea 
of a full leaf concert and, and in terms of what they do and the differences kinds of music and stuff that's that would be an excellent thing for everybody to see awesome i oh, would love to do that with you yeah so absolutely. that's something to think about what should we should we play one more video on the way on the way i i, I would love to hear like 30 bars of you know <laughs> unity Something loving, love, acapella, you love. know, just something to send me, send the brother. Yeah, exactly. See, I went to, okay, all I went right. to junior That's, college. Okay, you want to go out I didn't out go to that? Yale, and okay. I'm having a rough time You're right fine. now. You're fine. <laughs> 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 I want to hear the song for the wedding. You're going to, you got, you, do you step up and sing? Oh, I, I, I'm not a vocal. I'm very, I'm very, very embarrassed by my vocal I tried and attempted it when I was in high school. And yeah, my mom still has the CD, and it, yeah, I, I, I don't do well with vocal mics. So. Do you sing to your men? Uh, it, it men? Why do you play plural? I'm assuming she's. I don't know. I don't yeah. know if she has a man, so yeah. I meant in general. I've been single for a while now. Um, if they if they ask, I will. Yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of do it. it on a request basis. You know what I mean? <laughs> sing to me, baby. I request basis. <laughs> Not that song. My damn girls it. sing every morning. Tyrone. Call yeah. <laughs> <Tall> Tyrone. <laughs> we sing about everything in my house. <laughs> there you go. That's kind of how you got to do it. Uh, there you go. The trash. That's kinda how you do it. That was cool. Everybody. Yes, sir. Be in danger. Love it. You ready to sing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, can you do some bass? Are you gonna put some bass in this? You know your your cuts, man. You know. I don't know. You put a little bottom in it. A little bottom in yeah, it. Yeah, you know. We're all just a little got, weird. You Find got the piano, weird. but you don't have that deal, that bass bottom in getting to know you. Getting to know you. Getting to know all about you. Yeah, it's up. <laughs> getting to like you. Getting to hold you like me. It's a so entertaining. Haven't you noticed? Suddenly I'm all black and breezy. Because of all the wonderful and things. You're in the right place at the right time. Jesus. Like there is some music going on. Or whatever. Day by day. Everybody. Be in danger. Be in danger.